Welcome to my series of Linux in schools and we are going to be doing some installations of Linux um, and showing you how easy it is to install Linux and start using it. Um, today I'm using um, GNOME Boxes, uh, it's a virtualization so you can try out different uh, Linux distributions, uh, different flavors of Linux um, uh, before committing to anything and today we are going to be exploring Elementary OS. Now Elementary OS is a sleek Linux distribution. It's fast. It is something that I have used uh, personally uh, from five and yet yeah, four and five year olds um, all the way to um, grade five. So this definitely is a distribution um, that is versatile and it's really good um, for students in the primary school. Now that is not to say that it won't work uh, for middle and high school but I am a primary teacher so uh, my user case really is um, usability and ease of use uh, within the primary school environment. Now another case where all distributions really outshine any proprietary operating systems um, is the multilingual support that we have and so right off the bat here uh, from the greeter and the um, installer you can see that we have a plethora of languages that we could use uh, natively right off the bat uh, I'm just going to go and start the installation um, in English and the installers in Linux are really evolving they are becoming so easy to use there is a uh, it will detect your keyboard and it will ask you download uh, updates while installing um, elementary I always have this one it saves time after the installation as it says and I do usually use install third-party software for graphics because I'm using Nvidia and also um, sometimes the Wi-Fi hardware might give you problems if you do not do this um, for those who are open source advocates and, and um, these are those proprietary blobs um, that uh, some people dislike. I'm a pragmatist and I, I need my hardware to work. Next thing uh, what will come up here is of course we need to tell um, the installer uh, where and how we want it to be installing so right now it's going to be uh, checking for what type of a hardware I have and now he is go it's asking whether to erase the disk and install um, we could if we were to be using a laptop or um, um, a desktop that is in a public environment or a, a desktop that is accessible by others that you could um, encrypt your installation. Um, you can also use the LVM, the logical volume management. Now this is especially if you are planning on having a multi-user environment and uh, you are a, a system manager. Um, you would definitely want to use this <clears throat> or something else uh, which is the advanced mode well I'm going to be installing this just for myself uh, no one else has access to this machine so this will be just fine for me are we ready to write changes yes we are and now that was it I am in Germany so that time is fine this is
Oh. Now, if you are the sole user and you don't have anything, anyone have does not have an access into the room where your desktop is, you could technically put log in automatically. I do not use this because I want to teach my students how, the importance of usernames and passwords. So I will always leave the require my password to log in. But if you're doing, for instance, like a media center in your living room, you definitely can um, set it up uh, in that way. Now, it's, uh, the operating system is going to do copying files over. It's going to give me some mistakes. Uh, since it is uh, a virtual environment so but those mistakes are um, going to be mitigated now I'm going to speed up this um, so that you don't have to wait for the progress bar to progress further installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation restart now so that took 22 minutes on my um, old hardware um, in a virtual environment uh, your installation time will be varied and usual uh, in my experience on hardware it is faster okay so let's restart and see what elementary OS is all about Please remove the installation medium, then press enter. Now, before we um, look into anything more, I need to uh, first of first things first. So, what to do when you start your fresh new elementary OS uh, installation? Of course, the first one is to log in with your password, and then I need to do some setup so that the uh, it looks better here on your screen. Um, of course, what you would normally do is you make sure that you have your networking ready. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? And let me go into full screen. Here we do. So welcome. So we have what is really great greeter. It will um, give you a chance to go through all of this um, in a very confident manner um, and what I need to um, show you next is the uh, 
location services so all these are optional you can turn everything off if you so wish um, turning on the night light if you so wish housekeeping so if you have for instance an older computer uh, with this uh, re relatively small hard drive here is something that you can do to keep it running smoother there is an app center where we can then get some apps now there is curated apps for elementary so those are also really great now I'm opening the system settings so that um, you'll be able to see basically what this will look like now uh, the two ways of getting your applications running uh, one thing is to of course go to the top left hand corner clicking on applications and you have a very traditional um, looking menu uh, where you can also look at it in more of a categorized version of it or you can just look at it from this icon view now as default we have accessories calculator and screenshot we got updates nice to know there is photos for graphics internet epiphany is a slick quick um, browser and there's a mail we have calendar for office coding for programming camera music and videos and then system tools so not a lot that is installed by default and so that is something that you might want to uh, address first now let me just make sure that you can actually see you cannot see my whole screen on OBS right now um, let me tweak that a little bit so that you can see my you can see my there we go so on the bottom we have a very Mac like dock which then will allow me to use my apps now app center and app center is quite quick and responsive let's give you a quick view of what those are that we can um, install so for instance categories that we have education so ed education has loads of curated apps already um, but if we really think something that um, I use this with students um, one of course are the office um, tools for younger students and for older students I use Abbey Word I use Focus Writer which would be actually cool for you guys to see so Focus Writer is something that I use with young uh, children at first and it works really well here on elementary as it says it's focused it's a full screen word processor so students are focusing on actually writing now this is a there are a plethora of things that um, we can install you can also search for for a 
program if you already know its name. So here I'm in just a show, oops. Um, showing you just how quick and easy it is to install a program on elementary. We can always also make sure that we can configure our displays and changing resolution is this easy. We can also disable if you have uh, multiple uh, screens, you can disable or enable screens here um, and you can do screen rotations as well. Um, other important settings you might have is language and region. Uh, you can have multi-language support, uh, regions and formats for those. Um, online accounts is an a great way to access your email or your uh, music accounts. Firefox has been successfully installed. That was quick and easy. So in applications now, I should have my Firefox browser. And it, if I want to keep it in dock, right click on and adding it onto my preferred. So this is it. This is how easy it is to take your freshly installed elementary as your main driver. It is definitely something that you and I really enjoy using. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to stay updated on my next video, please um, subscribe. If you <clears throat> think that these are videos that should be um, spread out to the wider community, excuse me, please like this video and leave a comment that will make sure that I get more visibility uh, with the YouTube algorithm. I also have Twitter and Instagram on social media. Please follow and I'll see you on the next video.